I've updated my server from Windows Server 2012 R2 to Windows Server 2016, and we see we have a cluster. So the cluster is still going to be at the older version. So let's just confirm that. I'm going to open up PowerShell, and I'm going to put in get-cluster followed by select cluster functional level. And we see that it's running at a value of 8, which means 2012 R2. A value of 9 would be Windows Server 2016, so we need to upgrade that. Next, I'm going to run the update-cluster functional level. Hit Enter, and now it's done. And let's just check the cluster functional level, and now it's set to 9. I'll go back to my cluster, just confirm everything's working properly. And we see I've got a lot of different servers that are running. The ones that are off, actually, I did turn off. If we go to nodes, we see everything is up, and everything was fine. Microsoft recommends all of these steps, backing up the cluster, the workload data, all these different things, reinstalling the operating system, etc. I didn't feel that I had to do that. I just went ahead and typed in those two commands. Everything worked fine. Of course, it's never a bad idea to run backups of everything. But um, all these other things for me were just not necessary. So that's how I upgraded my cluster in Windows Server 2016 from 2012 R2. And I would assume that it would work in 2019 and 2022 as well.